All right, okay. That was, that was a pretty good intro, right? Anyways, so today we are going to do a another Dying Cube comparison. Unfortunately, we don't have our Guang V2 with us right now, so we're just going to do Zanchi versus Ponchi. So, I'll do the Zanchi, I'll do the Ponchi. Uh, let's get started with some... Actually, let's start with corner cutting, like the traditional first comparison. No, not really, but okay. Well, whatever, it's, it's okay. Anyways, so here's the Zanchi. Obviously, since the Guang V2 versus Zanchi comparison, it hasn't changed. It's still 45 degrees. And there we are, 45 degrees. Every side, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, every side. So, 45 degrees reverse is almost half a QB, just a bit before half a QB. That's okay. And uh, so that's corner cutting. Okay, so for the Ponchi, it's about. Yeah, it's 45 degrees. But this cube is relatively loose. 45 degrees, this white side. It's really easy to cut with this. Just other sides. Yeah, it's still. Oh, this blue side is maybe not 45. Um, for reverse corner cutting, we have about. Let's try half a QB. Yeah, it cuts half a QB. Let's see if I can do a little further. It's so, roughly half a QB. Otherwise, I'll just pop. So, you can see the size of... This is a Ponchi, and this is a Zanchi. Ponchi's slightly bigger by probably about half a millimeter. Um, so, this is... So, both are listed as 57 millimeters. 57. 57 millimeters, I believe. So, they're about the same size, and they won't really affect on your solves too much. So, some good features in the Zanchi that the Ponchi does not have is the, like, we even said that the Zanchi was very loud in the Guang V2 versus Zanchi comparison, but this is, like, very loud. Very loud. Just, just turn it. And then when you compare it with the Zanchi, like, like, if you cut like this, it's just, like, so loud. It, it, it's My ears are popping. It's just way too loud, but it's not a bad cube because it's loud. We're just saying it's really loud. Okay. Uh, another good thing about the Zanchi is that it's relatively smooth. Not as much the Guang V2 as we said in our last comparison, but a lot smoother than the Ponchi. So the Ponchi is a rather clicky feel. Yeah. It's much more clicky, and um, it seems to turn in phases. Yeah. Like it does. doesn't like it's not a smooth turn like. If you were to flick it, it would lock in one position, and it would just, like, turn like this. But one thing about the Ponchi that is pretty good is that it's really fast. Like, even though the Zanchi is fast, I'd say the Ponchi is about as fast as the Zanchi. Yeah. See, it is very fast. But another problem is that the Ponchi will pop. That, that's another thing you have to take into consideration. It's a lot more popable. Uh, I've done millions of, just joking, not millions, thousands of solves on my Zanchi, and it does pop quite a bit, and it's... I've done a few solves on the Ponchi as well, but it pops almost like every five solves, maybe ten. So, and also, uh, Eugene and Andre's Ponchis, when they arrived, you, Andre's was already broken when it arrived, and Eugene's was pretty much... It just broke later on. So mine is the only Ponchi that's actually not broken yet. Yeah, the plastic is very, very broken. So, yeah, that means the plastic quality is not that great. Uh, on the Zanchi, plastic quality is great. I've had this cube for pretty much a year, I think. Maybe more, probably more. But it's still perfect condition. And that's great. Sorry. Okay, so the Ponchi, um, because of its turning, it does lock a bit. But this is relatively fast. Um, it does lock up more than like uh, Zanchi or Guang V2 because it just turns slightly uncontrollably. But wait, uh, what I do like about the Ponchi is that it can cut like slightly more than 45 but only when you push down this side. So let's just say I'm pushing down this side, then it's going to cut that much. Like, like That's obviously more than 45 as you can see, but when I push down the side... Oh, oh. Maybe that was too much, but this much. When I push down the side, it actually cuts it. So, um, it does have pretty good corner cutting, I'd say. And it's pretty fast, so... The Ponchi is not a bad cube. We have pretty much said only bad things about this cube. But it's actually pretty good, too. As long as you get lucky and you have a, a good Ponchi with good plastic quality. 
Unlike Eugene and Andre, who had. So now about the Zanshi, it's it's actually very very fast, very very controllable. It doesn't lock up very often, and um, you have a lot of control and a lot of speed, and that's what you want in a speed song. And you can find this in this cube. And in the Ponchi, well, we can talk about sticker quality for the Ponchi. Unlike the unlike my Zanshi, which is just stickers in the center. There but are stickers in the center, and they they've barely chipped. It's been over a year. And the Ponchi, the stickers have already chipped, and like you can see, like a whole corner of the stickers gone there. Chip, 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 and then on other sides too, like it's it's coming off. Chips, more chips everywhere. Chip, chip. And like it, it, the sticker quality wasn't the best when it came. With the thing about the Ponchi is that on my Ponchi, the stickers actually peeled a bit, and then they chip. So like my cube is like practically like the stickers are practically broken. Um, the thing about the Zanshi is that um, this peel off logo here, um, it's at, it can actually fall off really easily, but it seems this isn't the case. It's pretty, still very intact. So, we will now do a comparison of the pieces on our cubes. So, we'll just take out a corner and one edge. Alright, so these are what the edges look like on both the Zanshi. Well, this is the Zanshi, this is the Ponchi. So, as you can see, there's obviously a difference. Um, they both have torpedoes. You can always take that out, but I always like having torpedoes. Like, they actually almost fit together. That's really funny. Uh, obviously, the punch is longer. You can sort of tell. Uh, not much of a difference, though. But the punch actually has a double hook-on mechanism kind of thing. Like, it hooks onto the center with this groove bump here, and then it has a dense-like thing. I don't know what it is. And then it hooks onto the corner. Uh, if you see the corner, it will actually hook on to the corner like that. So it's hard to pop, but it still pops for some reason. And the Zanchi only has just one groove to hook on to the center, I believe. And then there's a groove here, there's the same groove here. Let's just say that the Ponchi is just a bit bumpier in case, well, not really. But they tried to make the popping happen less, but it didn't work out. So that's about the edges and the corners. The Zanchi corner is actually much more sophisticated than the Ponchi corner, but they are very similar in a lot of ways. For example, you have the stem right here, which is shaped the same, except Ponchi's is more narrower, and the very thin part here is about the same. Um, the Zanchi is much the the corner piece is much more curved than on the Ponchi. And this uh, triangular base that you see right here, it's bigger on the Zanchi, which gives it more stability. Uh, the corners, the base of the corners are actually quite different. Um, as you can see on the Ponchi, there's a ring right here, a circular ring right here, and there's some dent things on the side. Um, but on the Zanchi, there are a lot of these. And you can see that they help with um, the turning of the cube and just generally less plastic so the cube can turn faster. The Zanchi corner hooks onto the edge like this. And the torpedo hooks onto the base. And there's, as you can see, there's actually a gap right here. So there's less contact so the cube can turn faster. There's minimal contact, yet there's a lot of stability in this mechanism. And for the Ponchi... Um, there's contact in basically every single part of the edge and the corners, so... Except for this tiny part right here, which you can barely see, but... There's a lot of contact. Um, so that slows the cube a bit down, but it's slightly more stable as well but it pops more, so... Alright, the last comparison we have to do is the center pieces, not the caps, the pieces. So, let's start with the ponchi. Well, I'll do this side to side. So, how the ponchi edge works is that there's this small knob here. Not a knob, but it's a groove. And what it does, it's going to hook onto this small, like, groove in the center piece. And it just fits on like that. You probably can't see it, but 
it is designed to hook onto the center centerpiece as well as the corners. Um, also, you can see that the you can see the spring almost coming. Well, you can see part of the screw, not the spring, and that's because the core is really small in comparison to the pieces. So assembly was also very difficult, and that's why you can see the screw because the core is extended. On the Zanchi, however, there's no like place the edge can latch on to the centerpiece. It just goes in and connects to the corner pieces. They didn't really have that... Well, Diane didn't really have that idea of connecting the edge with the centerpiece. But that's okay, because for some reason this cube does not pop. Or at least it pops less than the Ponchi. So that's the basic uh, piece comparison. So we're going to conclude this by saying some like main characteristics of the cubes. So the Zanchi, very smooth in comparison to the, to the Ponchi. Not that loud, it's very fast as well, and it doesn't pop that much. So we actually like this cube a lot. And okay, so the Ponchi is slightly slower. Um, there's slightly less control. Um, the corner cutting is better um, because of these holes and the general mechanism. Um, but it does pop slightly more because it is kind of unstable. So our general thoughts are, you should, if you're into speed cubing, like if you're going to go to contests, tournaments, definitely get the Zanchi. Uh, but Ponchi, the Ponchi is actually a really good speed cube as well. It can be classified as a speed cube because it is, is, it is very fast, but if you're, very, you're a hardcore, if you're a hardcore cuber, you'd probably want to get the Zanchi. So that was our comparison with the Zanchi and the Ponchi. And um, thanks, thanks for, for watching! Mm. <laughs> I hit your foot. I hit your foot. <laughs> uh.